I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. Today we're here in Aurora, Colorado in the Copper Leaf neighborhood and we're looking at homes by Richmond. Lots of floor plans to choose from. Three models on site. Right now we're in the Hemingway, very popular two-story plan. When we first walk in, you can see it's nice and open. Um, just over this way, it's open into your formal living area. Now, maybe you don't want a formal living area. You do have some options here. I just had um, some folks who bought the Hemingway closed last week. They didn't do this option. They had um, some walls here, double doors leading into their office. So think about how uh, you would best design this home for your family. We keep on walking. We have some stairs leading into the basement. We'll be checking that out. It is finished in this home. And um, then some uh, stairs leading upstairs. And of course, we'll go up there too. But um, if you travel this way, you're going to find your power back for the main floor. All right. Here we are into our great room here. Nice size, great room. Um, you can see there's a perfect spot for your um, uh, fireplace right there and a good spot over here for your TV. Some nice big windows looking out into your backyard. Turning right around, we're into our kitchen. And wow, 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 love this kitchen. Look at this great big island. Love the curve on the island. Wouldn't this be nice having people over um, sitting around this island? Just, you know, promotes the conversation, right? We have our sink and our dishwasher right here in the island. And a great amount of cabinets and countertop space in this kitchen. Now, I do have to tell you, though, there are some different configurations for this kitchen. You have a few different options and things that you can choose. Let me start by showing you that this model um, uh, features their sunroom option. So you can see how this is enclosed right here. This is an add-on, um, which I suggest you add some square feet to your home. And of course, it's a great room anyway, but you also add that square feet in the basement. So lots of extra square feet by um, taking the sunroom option. And as you can see too, what a great space for your dining room, right? First of all, it's plenty big. You can fit a nice long table, but the best part is all the windows in here. We have our double sliders and then windows on each side. So it's just light and bright. And as you can imagine having Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner in here, snow coming down, wouldn't that be beautiful? Also, I like the fact that the ceilings in this room are vaulted. Okay, um, so how would things be different if you didn't get the sunroom? Well, first of all, just like we see in a lot of the floor plans, so your, your island would be smaller and you would have a space between your great room and your kitchen um, for your dining room table. So that's how things would be different without the sunroom option. All right, we're almost done with the first floor, but not quite. We gotta come back this way. Um, this, because this house, you gotta see, has a nice big walk-in pantry. This is your entrance in from your garage. And then we have a coat closet right here. And that's our first floor. We're gonna go ahead and head upstairs. Okay, here we are at the top of the stairs and right when you walk back from the stairs, you come right into your loft. It's a nice size loft. They have it set up as an extra TV room, but um, possibilities are endless for what you could use your loft for, right? Okay, if we took a right, right when we came up the stairs, we're gonna go ahead and um, hit our master bedroom here. Nice size master bedroom with one big window that faces the rear of your home. And then coming back this way, we're going to check out our master bath. We have a double sink vanity right here. And the model is featured with their great big spa shower. You have lots of different options when configuring your master bathroom. So um, one of those things is like the tub and shower combination. So if you're hoping for a tub in your master bath, you will have that option to do that here. And then we come to our private toilet closet. Nice little window in there, letting some light. And then at the end of the um, bathroom here, we have a good size walk-in closet. Not too bad for your, uh, your uh, master suite. All right, well, we're gonna come back through the master bedroom, past our stairs, and just right past our stairs, we have another 
bedroom for a secondary bedroom that we're coming to. This one faces the front of the house, one window in here, and uh, our traditional slider doors. And this bedroom feels about, you know, like an average size secondary bedroom. Coming back out, we're into our loft area. We have our laundry room up here. Always nice to have your laundry room on the second floor so you're not hauling clothes up and down the stairs. Next, we have just this is a utility closet, and then we come to our bathroom, which is shared between our secondary bedrooms upstairs. End of the hall, we have a linen closet, and then off to one side, we have a bedroom. This one, um, the window in here is facing the side of the home again, feels about the same size as the other bedroom. We have our slider closet doors and then walking directly across takes us to our final secondary bedroom feels about the same size this window is facing the front of the home and again with the slider closet doors and but like i said the basement's finished in this model so we're going to go take a look all right we're down in the basement and um if we had taken a that'd be left <laughs> right when we got downstairs um, we come to a three-quarter bath. I do want to point out we have, um, they have this unfinished in here, but here's some extra space in here. Okay, coming back out this way past our stairs, we have a bedroom built in down here. And then, of course, what basement's complete without your bonus area, your hangout area, uh, your place where you come watch movies and have the surround sound put in, right? Well, they have a little table right here, very nice. Set up their couches over here with a nice TV area, great place to watch the game. And then we have some more space over here as well. I bet you could put a bedroom in here if you needed another bedroom down here. They put the ping pong table up. I think I kind of like that. Again, my name's Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. We're here in Aurora, Colorado in the Copper Leaf neighborhood, and we're looking at homes by Richmond. If you want to see these homes in person, give me a call. I'd love to help you find the right home for you and your family and save you a little bit of money with my closing cost credit. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm uploading new home tours around the Denver area every single week. Thanks for joining me today, and have a blessed day.